Welcome to the Daily Web Show, which everyone is becoming a media company. On the show today, we talk about tightening your thread across everything you do in your company. It's Friday at the Webster office, and as you can see up there, there are some bangers being consumed. Uh, today, we're calling it Banger Friday. But I just want to talk to you today about our thoughts on the thread. We've talked about, about creating a thread, maybe around video, creating the thread that you follow and the stories that you're able to tell uh, that, that takes an audience on a, on a singular journey. Something interesting we were talking about today, we, we did a content strategy session internally and we were thinking about all of the stuff that we put out there around, um, around customers, case studies, the movement towards everyone becoming a content machine, um, uh, how-tos with our product, thought leadership around uh, both the creation of content and the distribution of content. And we're, we're, we're having a look at our, our content calendar, which is, you know, like this. And, and we're thinking, well, all of these lines, all of these separate lines, like um, content, webinars, everything else, they all have their own strategy, but they don't have a unified strategy of, of making each piece of content tie to another piece of content. And a little bit like that image I showed the other day of the sun spinning through the, world, uh, through the universe, <laughs> The, the sun spinning through and then all the planets spinning after them and, and creating like a singular zooming line. <clears throat> the thought there was, was going, how do we tie all of those separate threads together to create the singular thread that the audience can tie to? And then thinking about all the different places that our audience hang out. They're hanging out on, on Twitter, they're hanging out on Instagram, Facebook, our blog, webinar series that we do on go to webinar. Um, and then there's guest blogs we do elsewhere, then there's events, there's AMAs on other people's channels, we're about to do one. Uh, and then there's other people who blog about us, and then there's things we do with PR, and then there's customers we talk to, and then there's the Daily Whip, and then there's product videos, and then there's other videos we do around customers. <clears throat> and we were thinking, we, we don't have a unified thread that we're trying to create throughout the whole thing. So imagine this, imagine you as a company are thinking about the unified thread, and you might have a, a singular piece that becomes the primary and everything else is always hinted at or is hinting to the primary thread uh, at any one time. So, for instance, if we have a blog coming out, uh, there's a blog coming out soon, I won't tell you what it is yet because I'm supposed to do it on a certain date. That blog comes out, but we refer to it on all the other channels before it turns up so that there is a bit of demand for it. And we give little bits of the value that that content will totally deliver, we give little bits of that on other channels to whet the appetite and, and create the interest. But we also tie it to other things we're doing somewhere else. So if we have a blog coming out about, I don't know, the best way to set up a studio in your office, right? And then we're about to do a webinar with a, a big enterprise customer that is telling you about how they turn themselves into a content machine. And we're also doing um, like a bit of a strategy on Instagram about, I don't know, um, stylizing your videos, right? So. Those three things are happening at once. Currently, they all happen separately, and they don't reference each other. So imagine, all of a sudden, they all reference each other. So the webinar, we reference the blog, um, and in the daily web, we reference both of those things. And in the Instagram thing, we're referencing the blog and the webinar, and the webinar is also referencing what we're doing on Instagram, and the daily web is referencing all of it. And then all of a sudden, everything is always hinting at something else on a different platform that you can go and get your audience to go and look at and then they can click the follow button or the like or the agree or the sign up and you're capturing them on another piece of the thread. So I think, I think this is really, really uh, important part of anyone's strategy. When they're thinking about becoming a media company and they're thinking about becoming a content machine and they're trying to tie it all together, it's really to think about you have kind of a singular audience, you have different personas, right? So different types of people with different wants and needs, but they're all interested in coming on the journey with you, otherwise why are they hanging around with you, right? And so then thinking about, let's get those people where they, they naturally want to hang out, give them little tidbits of everywhere else they could be hanging out, and start to seed them into those other places. So if you imagine that our strategy was only to get people to um, keep with us on the webinar, and we only talked on the webinar about the webinar and a piece of content that the webinar was about. And that was it, right? That would, be, that would be pretty useless of us because we've got another nine channels for them to go and hang out with us on. And so <clears throat> it's thinking about that. 
Um, you know, we've also got Webster Weekly, which is wildly successful in terms of the number of people who engage with it and the emails we get and everything else. And so with that, that's already starting to tie into Webster Weekly. It's already a place where we surface things like webinars and other blogs. So that's already beginning to do its job a little bit. Um, but we, still, we don't yet tie it all the way through the, 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 whole, the whole thing. Um, so I think that is something that companies should be thinking heavily about when they're coming up with their next 12 month um, content strategy with uh, a calendar and, and an idea of promotion and aspect and all those other things. Is that how does it all, like a huge plait on someone's head, right? How does it all tie together so that everyone that gets into the, the plait somewhere is able to find everything else? And it's relatively easy for them to surface these other things. There's always a click through. Everything links to everything else. And you're just grabbing people onto your major thread, which is, you know, getting people to agree with where you're going with your company and the solutions and the problems and everything. So that's what I want to talk about. So there you go. That's the that's the Friday banger for you. Uh, so now we're just going to go and talk to these people out there who you can hear yelling in the background about what what banger Friday means to them. See you next week. So excited. Are you excited about Friday bangers? Always. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about Friday bangers? Beers. Brian, Friday bangers. What does it mean to you? Uh, it means life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh, <laughs> ball, life, yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, balls and bangers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bangers, is it is it a culture? <laughs> it's nothing like getting a big hard banger in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what would it mean if we didn't have Bang Friday? Um it would mean less sausage. <laughs> what is it in America? Hot dogs or sausages. Oh hot dogs. Wieners. Okay. So, but does does Hot Dogs Friday have the same? It's not quite as good as Bangers Friday. No, not nearly as good. <laughs> do, do you think we could get this culturally into America? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah but but there's that resistance. Like, what is it? Bangers and mash, and like Americans don't really like British terms. Nathan, at, um, so, at some point you were English. I was. <laughs> I don't know what happened though. Bangers and mash. Yeah. Is it a, is it a cultural institution that is English that we're we haven't got here or what? Yeah, I think so. My my mum used to make a lovely onion gravy to go on the bangers with the mash. That's 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 when you're winning. I'm having the double banger, which is the bangers on the radio and the bangers on the barbie. <laughs> What does Bangers Friday mean to you? <laughs> um, it definitely does, does not mean Miley Cyrus. Yeah. Are they not cops? They're pretty good. They're a lovely red colour, aren't they? These ones are real. A banger for every um, every mood. Yeah, a banger for everyone's taste. Triple banger. Triple banger.